from another galaxy, from another world, comes the embodiment of fear. What the hell was that? Night Beast, terror from beyond. from a distant planet. A killing machine with a taste for human flesh. A community abandoned in a code of silence. Wicker never even called the state. They don't even know we have a bad situation here. A love affair. You know, you're a very attractive girl, Lisa. Two people brought together by the urgency of the moment. Two people torn apart by the savage fury of Night Beast. I'm sorry, Jamie. There was nothing that could be done. The most vicious creature to ever span the intergalactic void has come to pay its respects. This is the story of how the little people answer the big questions. See the movie that will change the face of modern science fiction cinema. Night Beast. Terror from Beyond. Hello, folks, and uh, welcome to October. Welcome to the 31 Days of Howling Beasts. I am uh, one of your many hosts for this. I'm very excited about this. But uh, I will try to do an intro and outro for, for each one of these that are that is not me. But many podcasters have stepped up and become involved, and I, uh, I commend them for that because it kicks the workload off of me, and it makes it fun to listen to other people's views on films. And um, I'm looking forward to you guys hearing hearing them. I've already got one back, so I'm excited about that. Oh, <clears throat> sorry guys. Oh, but the film I chose to do for the first day, and I, I, I have to say, you know, if you don't know what this is, this is uh, an idea I had to get a bunch of movies together, uh, at least 31 of them. The, the list is longer than 31, with the word beast in the title, and that, that, that can include many, many things. This can include, like, Lizard bees and yetis and all kinds of nasty things that go bump in the night and cut out internal organs or whatnot. Uh, yeah, possibly have ray guns and disco suits. Um, I'm getting into the film of the, of the first day here. Uh, be, be Night Beast from 1982, uh, directed by uh, um, Don Doler. If you don't know who that is, he, he is one of the key independent filmmakers of, of Baltimore. There's him, and then there's that other guy you might know named John Waters. But uh, this guy makes sci-fi films, uh, slash horrors, and this one <coughs> concerns an alien whose, whose spaceship was uh, dinged by an asteroid and crashed to Earth, um, much, much to the luck of us, because this thing crash lands... It's gnarly, and it's pissed off. Uh, yeah, immediately, you know, of course, you know, because white folks got to do what white folks do. They, they go, see, they, look look what happened. It fell out of the sky. So let's go check it out. Uh, big, big mistake in this one. <laughs> yeah, because the alien has a ray gun, and he, he, he disintegrates people. And, yeah, he, he does that in abundance in his first 20 minutes of the film. I'd say good, a good... At least fifteen people die, you know, by by this ray gun, and then he uh, attacks a couple in, 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 in their home, and he rips the, the 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 boy the boyfriend's insides out. You see the intestines all over the place. So right away, you know, when you first see the creature, <clears throat> the fourteen thousand dollar budget that went into this movie, it, it shines on the screen for one thing. This is the definition of a micro budget, no budget film. To where you got a bunch of people together, you know, and, and making something out of nothing, basically. And um, I doubt very little people got paid, you know, big amounts of money. But 
it paid off in dividends and in, in, in sci-fi history, I guess, because the monster itself looks uh, pr- pretty phenomenal. I, I, I gotta say, um, the guy that made him, John Dodds, uh, he, he would go on to work on like the X-Files and uh, <laughs> Spookies. People love Spookies. Uh, Death Becomes Her and him and the guy that did the visual effects who <clears throat> has a much more impressive um, list of, of his credits. Ernest Farino, he worked on The Abyss, Terminator, Jack Carpenter's A Thing, The Howling and Creep Show, but they both went to work on the, the Monsters TV show, which people like. I don't love it. It's 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 80s anthology TV. There's some, there's some good ones and there's some stinkers in there, but um, this is uh, ch- cheesy uh, and, and very wonderful at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As this goes on, of course, there's the sheriff. Uh, there's a sheriff who, who looks kind of like an old man Frank Zappa in, in a way. He's got a big old like curly fro going on and. Just picture Frank Zappa if he was really old, if he lived to be that old. And um, he's on the case with his his, his sexy uh, deputy, because not many folks live in this live in, in, in this scenario, in this entire town, because the ones become evacuated. There's a subplot where the, where the mayor uh, is going to have the governor there, so it, it becomes like a, like a discount Jaws plot. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, there, there's a lot of women in this film with, with no breasts, and you know, well they they have breasts, but they're 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 all small, obviously, not like uh, one that my brother's going to be talking about, where the breasts are ample. Uh, they're in this movie. But you, you, you get the more and more and more things that there were that the uh, the creature's gun gets destroyed, so he's forced to uh, use his his creature wild, his gnarly teeth to to eat people. And, uh, of, of course, you know, uses massive claws to cut the guts out of people. That's popular in this movie. <clears throat> you got some decapitations in this movie. This, um, I first saw was it was a trauma disc. But, uh, you can get this on, on fine Corinthian leather uh, vinegar syndrome disc now. And that's not a bad decision, because you got to support people like Don Dohler, who, who unfortunately passed away in 2006. Um, independent guys who go out there and, and make their nut on these little fucking movies and just entertain us all. And um, a uh, qu- quick uh, quick note to say, um, this was one of the first jobs of one J.J. J. Abrams who worked on the music for this because he was a fan of um, Don Dohler who made a magazine called Cinema- C- Cinemagic, which is one of the first... Magazines only had about 12 issues. I think it was 12 or 11 issues. But it, it, it taught you <clears throat> step-by-step instructions about how to do special effects. I mean, they had that stuff in, like, uh, Famous Monsters and, and Fangoria and stuff like that. But this this literally gave you, like, step-by-step instructions if you wanted to do, be a filmmaker and go out there and do your own thing. And then he would later go on to write books about the subject, about makeup effects and stop motion animation. There's two separate books you can go. I'm not sure if they're in print right now. You can go look for those, though. Maybe if you're an up and coming filmmaker, and then um, later on, if you are so inclined, Lloyd Kaufman made Make Your Own Damn Movie, which is a series of of, of DVDs. I think it's like I think it's DVDs where it literally gives you the ins and outs of of making your own independent movie. You know, right down to the Caro syrup and you know disgustingness and all these are worth uh, checking out. Like I said, this is available in <clears throat> those formats in the U.S. I'm not sure about overseas. I'm sure we got some overseas people that are listening to this, and bless you for that. But l- look for Night Beast because it's a fun sci-fi romp. It's it's bloody. It did amazing things with its budget, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone for this one. But tomorrow. Tomorrow, people, you'll hear me talk about a film that I had no expectations in, in, in saying, hey, this might be a good thing. But you know what? It had Beast in the title. It's from 2020. The plot synopsis sounded interesting. It's called Beast Mode. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the, the football, player, football player Marshawn Lynch. It's just it's just called Beast Mode. It's one of those movies that stars C. Thomas Howell. And a couple of the faces you may know, 
but um, let the Hollywood douchebaggery begin. This has been Night Beast from 1982. Look for it. Love it. Don't make fun of it, people. It's it's fun. It, it, the creature's kind of cute. Did I mention that he's kind of cute, people? But yeah, man, go go, uh, go on, put your disco suit on, and uh, go uh, enjoy this picture. And we'll see you all tomorrow with day two of 31 Days of Howling Beasts.